I think over the years people have always gone to the water, to the shore, to uh, contemplate things. It helps put things into somewhat of a perspective and gives you a, a calm, quiet place to, to think. And that's what I wanted to create there in that space. And it was the additional challenge because it could be viewed from fairly close or quite some distance when you're up in that second, second floor. You can see it from a long ways away. I'm Mike Tonder. I'm a kiln-formed glass artist from the city of Two Harbors. What I'm doing here is uh, I'm cutting roughly a two-inch wide strip and then splitting it with this curved line. You sort of notice, too, just how the color starts changing. Some of the beauty of glass is that it, the interaction with with the material and light just changes it all the time. I mean, just in the course of a day, the way the light hits it will, will change. The pieces are laid flat on their back when they're going to be fired, and then they may you know, fold one way or the other, but I know by setting the stage for that, I'm going to get some motion. You know, glass is, uh, I think people see it as sort of a harsh, unforgiving material, you know, but, but there's that soft stage of it where it's totally malleable and workable. Yeah, that's a, that's a good piece. This will probably be the top of the piece here particularly because I like this little drip that's going over this way. Mm, yeah, that should work. I'm going to make the first cut right about there. I want to get at least some feeling that I can do it technically. And then uh, from that point on, then I start working on the aesthetic part of it. So now I have piece number one, piece number two. Put them together and it's sort of that continuous line just going right around there. And I'll just do a little sandblasting to get those two edges, you know, these, these little edges to line up. And I think it's going to work. You know, all of them are decorative pieces, but um, having uh, something that relates to a functional piece becomes a good entry point for people to say, oh, it's a bowl. Well, I don't know if I can make a good living, but I can make a darn good life. And I, I think that's a real important thing for young artists to see. And once you have your skills and you've bought your tools, I mean, there's, there's always something you can do. I like it. Funding for The Playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and by viewers like you.